Hello, welcome to Modding 101, where I teach you how to make mod stuff to the best of my ability. Um, uh, just a disclaimer, you know, like, my abilities with modding is sort of limited. I don't know how to make a module from scratch, I know how to do a bunch of stuff that I'll teach you how to do, but yeah. So this video is gonna be for basics, the, the basic stuff, you know? How to manage the mod folder, how, how to make that stuff, how to do things with Miku Miku model, you know, that kind of thing. So let's start with how you want to go about creating the mod folder. So you make, you need a folder, you name it whatever, I'm just gonna name mine whatever, so I can, name it whatever, whatever you like, whatever is relevant to the mod, like for Momo, you want to name it like Momo ne Momo, right? And then this one, you make a folder you call it ROM, R-O-M, like that. I also want to include another little file here. Just steal it from another mod. You can use this one, this config.toml. Snatch that from another mod. We copy it, go back to our folder, and we put it in here with the ROM folder in here and you just double click on this and just edit this this stuff description and yep and save of course now and then you put in the rom folder inside of the rom folder okay put two more folders this one obj set obj set whatever you want Call it in this one skin underscore param. All right, and that, that's pretty much it for the setup for the the folder. But if it isn't this way, it's not going to work in Diva Mom Loader and all that stuff. So that's very important. And now we're gonna move on to the Mickey Mickey Model Basics. So you open that, and it's gonna look like this when you open it. It's completely blank. Nothing going on here. Okay, just like blankness. So where do I get the files from the original game? How do I access that? So you go here to file. And you go open. And then you go to where your Mega Max Plus is. Program files 86. You know, Steam. Maps, common, that's me, Nimiko Mega Mix Plus, right? And then you have this diva main.cpk. You open that, and look at that, we have all these here. Now, all these little folders have all the files for the stuff. So, most of the stuff you're, you're gonna look for is in either ROM PS4 or ROM PS4 DLC, or it might be in Patch, or sometimes if it's even in Switch. If it's not in any of those, it might be somewhere else. You go to ROM PS4 here, and then the ROM, and the object set. It'll be like that for all of these little folders here. And you can see all this stuff here, all these common items. These are the accessories that are available for all the characters. You know, you have the mask here, you know. And this one, yeah. All that is just items for the accessory this is just pv stuff you can ignore that hand item you know hand item for the pv you know and here's here's kaito stuff you can see kai item um the stuff with the zero at the beginning is for the module so if you want to preview something you, you click on this little plus sign here and it opens these little things you just click on this one Ta-da! oh that's a jump scare um i didn't realize that <laughs> I didn't realize that I clicked that one, but uh, yeah, that's the that's the swimwear V one. <laughs> and you just you look. And what's this one here? This one's white blazer. Yep. And then three hundred. It's gonna be hands. You see fancy hands here. This three thousand stuff is usually hair. Um. Yeah, hands. Cool stuff. And then five hundred is for hair. You've got the white blazer hair here. 
and it's, uh, I believe that's guilty. And then 700 will be accessories for just the character. So here we have uh, his goggles for a swimwear V. And Santa hat. That's where you get all that stuff. And 800 will be eye textures, usually. White blazer eye textures. It looks kind of creepy, but you know, that's what it's for. That's the eyebrow, you know, the, 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 the right eye, the left eye. A uh, very simple thing. And then you have Len. This one's just the head, um, jump scare warning slash J. Um, that's what, they, that's what the heads look like. You know, you can tell what it has all that stuff for, but, uh, yeah. It's the zero zero thing. If you ever need the head for whatever reason, that's what that is. So yeah, we have all this stuff here. So, how do we make a replacement module? I will teach you how to make a slot in a different video, but uh, get a replacement module first. So one, you can test things out, and two, for the module screenshots, preview image thing. So, let's just pick some module to replace it with. Um, for Miku, I usually like to grab Fairy to replace stuff with. So we're gonna replace Fairy today. So this is the Fairy module, Miku 019. So we're gonna right click and we export. And we put that in this folder. Put that in here. And I'm going to do the same with her hands and her hair. And if you want to replace the head accessory, if they have a head accessory, you export that as well. Okay, so now we have the module that we will be replacing. All of that is exported. But what about the stuff for the things we are replacing it with? So, let's just find a nice module to replace that with for our example here. Yeah, Pansy, let's go with Pansy. So, for the one we're replacing it with, you can replace it, you can get the solid if you want, but I would re recommend grabbing the obj.bin one, and we export that one, and we put in the object one. Um, don't worry about the text, um, if you ex export the object, it will it will go with it. They're, they're a pair. You can't separate them. And we're gonna grab some hands. Let's just grab Miku Riku's hands. I think it's this one. Yeah. We do the same here. And let's find a nice hairstyle. Let's find a nice hairstyle for her. Yeah, let's do this one. The, um, what's it called? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> the one for, um, the colorful melody. Yeah, we'll go with that one. Sure. So then you open, you close and open Miku Miku model. You go open. And we go open the one that we're replacing. This fairy. And we go onto the up bin. Click replace. And we replace it with the module. So the pansy. Woo! Awesome! That's so swag! Um, I'd re recommend converting triangles to triangle strips. I don't think it really applies for just replacements like this without using Blender. But, yeah, I would just recommend doing that, you know, just in case. Here we go save. And we just do that with the, the rest of them, with the hands and the hair. So now, we have everything all replaced. Isn't that awesome? Yay! So now, of course, you're gonna wanna to make sure it, it did what it's supposed to do. You're gonna wanna pop your folder into your mods folder. Just be sure that it's added to uh, Diva Mod Manager as well. You should probably have that open when you're plopping the folder in there. And now we launch! So here, I already put fairy, you know, for 
Testing something as you can see. It works, but hold on a minute. Why is everything so floppy? What is going on here? What's wrong with her boots? What is happening? I like her hair okay, that's odd. Um, but there is a reason for this. And it's a very important thing if you don't want your mod looking like this. We do not want that, no, no, no. So, gonna exit Diva. Okay. And you remember the skin paran that we had before? Yeah, well, that is what determines how the physics work. So you have your skin paran folder here. So, let's go into Miku Miku model. And it should be in open recent now, the Diva main CPK. If not, you don't just reopen. And we are going to snatch the skin param for those two modules. So you're gonna remember what what the ones that you replaced it with are. So the pansy and the, the hair. The hands shouldn't matter unless there's physics for the hands. Like on the on the hands, you know what I mean? But we just have to worry about the hair and the body. And any accessories, of course. So we go here to skin param. And we're looking for Miku 97. So we find Miku 97 and we put it in our skin param folder. Now we're gonna look for 530 for Pansy. 530 right here. And we do the same thing here. Ta-da! But wait, 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 wait. You need to rename these files right here. So we rename it to 19, which is fairy, which is the model that's being replaced. And make sure that this small number here is just the last two digits. Okay, we don't put 019, we just put 19, okay? And we do the same here, as you can see, 530 and then 30. We make this the name of Terry, which is 508. And this one, just 08, not 508. Wow! Now, when we boot up Diva, it'll not be so floppy. Wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, before I do that, shoot. And before you do that, you just uncheck it and recheck it just so that we know for sure that it's refreshed. That's how you can refresh it. Or you can just take it out of the, the mods folder and put it back. Whatever works for you. But that's just easier that way. And as you can see here, it's not so floppy. Look at that! Now her boots aren't being super strained. And her skirt isn't being odd, and her hair is still working fine. I have no idea why her hair was working fine before. It should have been like super duper floppy like the Mojo, but alright. Yeah, that's how you make a replacement mod. So now, we're going to talk about texture replacements. How do I change the hair color, the clothes color? Well, first of all, you can grab one from a pre-existing model in the diva main.cpk. So where do you access these textures? You might ask. So you go obviously to the to the ROM, you go to object where all this stuff is, and grab a Miku model with a different hair color. Yeah, like a append over here. It's like a nice lighter color as you can see. And you see that this text got bin here. We have all these textures here. So we're gonna look for one that looks sort of like this. Um, I would definitely recommend finding one that doesn't have shadows like this, but I don't think there's one here like that. Yeah, no. Okay, we're just gonna go with this one here. Where'd it go? Not this one. Oops. One above it. This one, we're just gonna go with this one. Um, but yeah, the shadows is gonna make it look like all murky in those spots on the hair 
but you're just gonna usually want to find one that's a square like this and it's just plain uh it might be a rectangle sometimes just just something like this and we just export that you can put it wherever really but i usually prefer to put in the offset file folder sorry there we go and let's close this and we open it again and then we open our hair the hair there you go you see the hair now we go here and we find anything with that color and we right click and replace with this one and as you can see it changed that back hair part there and you can also see the, the shadows that I mentioned yep that's that's what that does so yeah and you just go through and you pull, replace everything with that old Miku color And there you have it! What a nice color that is! How beautiful! Absolutely gorgeous! Wow! So yeah, you just go and you save there. And then we open Diva. Oh yeah, uncheck and recheck first. Now we open Diva. Let's see how it looks! Oh my goodness! Look at that! She is so cute! Okay, I actually really like this color on, on this hair. That's actually really, really cute. But yeah, that is how you make your replacement mod. Amazing, stunning, beautiful. And that's also how you replace textures. But for textures on stuff like... I'll show you. First off, on like the model like the, it's gonna for the body it's gonna be a little different so as you can see here how are you gonna find a replacement for that you can just use any 2d editing photo editing software like photoshop or anything like that and you can just change things up there to however you'd like it might take some trial and error to get it right but that's how you do that there you go Here's your replacement mod. I hope you have fun with it.